Welcome to this video where I thought I'd just take the opportunity to run through the kit. Uh, I'm about to uh, switch this uh, my uh, room around, uh, just a quick spin around there, into uh, uh, from the recording room into the teaching room, as I've got a student showing up shortly, um, which involves uh, uh, the sort of panel coming out of the wall there to get a bit of daylight in and stuff. But I thought I'd just do a, uh, a run through of the the kit, uh, which I just put together again after a, a, a few months of playing a, a pretty uh, generic setup, and uh, and I thought it might be of, of interest to a few of you. Uh, I'll just run around it, uh, run through it from this side quickly. So it's a recording custom uh, kit, uh, and the toms are uh, 10, 12, 13, uh, and down at the bottom here, uh, 14, 16, 18. Uh, it's a 24 by 14 bass drum, and uh, there's also on the at the bottom of the shelf uh, another uh, matching bass drum. Uh, waiting for that day when I can, uh, I've got a gig that uh, uh, can justify a double bass drum setup, and uh, uh, and in front of the kick we've got the sub kick mic as well, and so. I'm going to head round to the kit and uh, just play uh, uh, around so you can get to hear it. Uh, I know whenever I've posted a, a picture of the kit, it tends to get a, uh, 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 a positive uh, response, uh, but uh, a lot of people uh, uh, seem to uh, uh, view it not necessarily as us. Uh, uh, a, a bit uh, e excessive with, with the toms, but uh, it seems in this day and age that we're all meant to play four-piece kits, and uh, I love playing a four-piece kit. I did uh, the majority of my practice back in the day on a four-piece kit, but I love the range that this kit offers. So uh, I'm going to sit down behind it, and hopefully uh, uh, you'll be able to hear the audio okay, which I'm recording over there. Incidentally, I'll just show you that. So, as I said, this is my recording setup, and which way shall I go? Uh, you can prep. So I've just got a remote monitor here. I'd normally control that when I'm recording uh, tracks and uh, uh, audio with a, a wireless mouse and keyboard. So that audio is just running there uh, for the moment. And so let's stick this uh, camera on a stand. So as I say, you can uh, have a, a listen to, uh, to what the kit sounds like. So it's 24 by 14 bass drum. Um, it's almost a full front head, but uh, there's a, a tiny hole, mostly for the mic cable. I'm not going to get into the realms of drilling bass drums uh, as I've done in the past. Um, but I love that the... Uh, that size drum and the fuller front head um, gives you a more dynamic bass drum. I've got a 22 in there that's really uh, thuddy and sort of gad tuned, uh, which is great for that sort of focus sound. If I need to do that, I'll just switch them around, but this is the sound I prefer. So I've got my 400, Ludwig 400 snare. Incidentally, I'll just say, I bought all of these drums. The, the, this, uh, uh, this isn't part of a, uh, an endorsement deal. I played these drums as a kid and uh, recording customs and regretted selling that uh, kit and just rediscovered them all uh, about five years ago after a, uh, um, a late night eBay purchase. And so I've got this uh, big kit, pretty much every size, uh, in the black, um, I've got almost every size in, in an early green series kit as well. So here's the, uh, uh, sorry, 402, not 400. So, uh, there's there's no dampening on that drum, and uh, uh, perhaps I'll put a, put some on as I run through the rest of the kit. 
And so over here is a 14 by 8 It's a recent addition. Uh, it's just the uh, sort of sound du jour, isn't it? The, the low tuned uh, uh, snare drum. So uh, it's kind of nice, makes a nice contrast with the 402. Really enjoying these Avidis Zildjian 14 inch hats. I've got a couple of the crashes over this side, an 18 and a 19, and then it switches to the A's over this side. And uh, and then I've got some A hi hats over over here as well. I again recently decided to start using the X hats again, and um, it just feels uh, much more comfortable on on certain tracks. And and I just I just love the sound that it it offers. You know, being able to step something here and having the looser sound. That's that classic Weckle thing that I learned uh, years ago where you break up the sort of broken 16th notes between the right X hats and uh, uh, I hat. So onto the toms, um, tuned a little higher than I used to uh, tune. Let's turn the snares off for a second. Uh, so I, I just run through the range. Really enjoying having uh, the, the the twelve in front now. I recently messed around with moving it up even further and having the 13 there and that's that's great too the 12 13 14 because i've got a 14 inch rack tom you can probably see it in the background see it in the background over there um, and it's great but it's just incredibly wide across the front if you're going to step the hi-hats um, uh, so if you're going to fit the hi-hats in if your pardon. so i uh, uh just went back down to the the 10 12 13 uh, I, 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 yeah, I have uh, some reservations about that 10, 12, 14 that gets used so much because I, I just think uh, that, that those sort of fusion sizes, the idea of going to a 10 as your first time, it, it just sounds um, just too high and, and weak to me. So just stepping it up one size uh, works uh, well for me. So I'll just do some stuff with the toms so you can hear them in context with the rest of the kit. This is something I, I've enjoyed messing around with recently, just this idea that you're maintaining the triplet rate and you're trying to do some sort of counterpoint between the, the, uh, the hand and the, and the bass drum whilst this hand fills in all the spaces.
that's pretty much the kit. Um, I'll just play a little more now and just uh, try and use uh, uh, all of it and uh, in some kind of uh, way that uh, uh, sort of justifies it all being there. Uh, so let's give it a shot. So uh, it's all changed, so I'm just going to put this, this is uh, an old uh, Ludwig Black Beauty uh, from about uh, 1980 and uh, the, incidentally that 400 uh, this uh, I found on the floor of a mic stand cupboard doing a, uh, 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 some, uh, a studio uh, in uh, High Barnet, yeah, and it was uh, all the bits that you needed to make a Ludwig 400, 402, and, uh, uh, and eventually uh, they took my 70 quid and I took it all away in a Tesco bag and put it back together. I've got a, it's a, uh, a Premier snare release because the super sensitive just seemed to buzz like crazy and just was a bit over complicated, com uh, complicated, easy for me to say. And uh, unfortunately, the the premier one just went straight, uh, screwed straight in. There's no, there was no holes drilled, and I've got the old system. So anyway, enough of that. Let's try the kit with uh, the uh, Black Beauty. So uh, there you have it, uh, a, uh, a quick sort of kit tour if you like, and uh, just to uh, briefly run through a couple of other specifics, so I've got, uh, these are Shaw um, 
uh, short Beta 98s on, on the Toms, apart from this uh, 18 which has got a 52 on it and uh, Beta 52. Uh, up above we've got a couple of AKG 4014, these are the TL2 ones with a little sort of lift at the high end, I don't think they do them anymore. Uh, down on the snare we've got a Beta 52 and a, just a regular Beta 52, a Beta 57 and a regular SM57. I've also got a, a there's a, um, a Beta 57 underneath. Let's uh, let's get down low and see what's going on in the kick drum. So in the kick drum, it's a D112 mounted on a Kelly shoe, and somewhere there is the snare bottom mic. We've got uh, an AKG. Um, uh, 451 on the hats with the super cool uh, uh, bendy bit so that you can uh, point it in the right direction and and then there's another uh, 451 uh, which gets the X hats and a bit of the the ride and a bit of that uh, China symbol over there and there's the hole on the front of the the kick so it's just one of those small holes things that takes that out and we've got the sub kick mic and it all heads around to the stage box and then I use a uh, always use a Yamaha piccolo to keep my music stand at the right angle and uh, joking aside um, that is actually the only time I've ever used that drum so uh, uh, and then the late night eBay, eBay purchase so it'll probably go on the Yamaha group at some time soon because I really can't <laughs> Can't justify that. So, uh, yeah, there it is. I hope you've uh, uh, enjoyed seeing around the kit. And uh, now I think it's uh, uh, a little shot from a distance. Uh, so it's uh, time for me to uh, uh, sort the broom back around, uh, ready to uh, to teach for a couple of hours. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one.